A couple of things have crossed my mind since hustling out my door and that is it is not toque season. No, no, no. It's not toque season and I am very warm. But I was determined to not do my hair today and this is this is what we are working with here. So that's that. Another thing is I don't have a list. I have a budget. I have some ideas of what I need, but I don't have a list. I do not recommend going to Costco with no list. Um, unless you want to spend your entire month's salary. Oh, I'm excited. I'm sure my husband's excited too. Um, but the goals are today uh, to get some nutritious whole foods. The cupboards are so empty. Um, I'm at my wit's end. I've been spending a lot of money on groceries with five kids and I just never seem to have groceries. I don't understand where it all goes. Um, but it's a blessing, so I'm looking at it that way. Um, so today our theme is to, you know, be a mindful consumer. Um, we are going to pray before we go into Costco that there are some deals that reflect what my family needs this week and try to have self-control when it comes to shopping because it's hard. It's hard to go into a big store and see sales and be like, okay, nope, this is what I'm doing. And it's just another aspect of my life that I've been working on lately is to really just try to be more mindful of what I'm consuming, what we need, um, and what's nourishing for the kids and for myself and my husband. And so that's the goal of the day. And I will share some of the sales that I see, some of the things that I love to buy at Costco. I've done Costco hauls in the past. It's been really fun. Um, but really, this is just a fun, lighthearted vlog video of me doing a haul for Costco and telling you guys what I'm going to do with those foods, how I'm going to prepare them to be healthy, nourishing foods for my family. All right, let's go to Costco. Checking out all the deals this week, trying to get myself some good ones. The kids go through so much food at this age. We've got some teenagers that are so hungry. This is the coffee grinder at Costco. Did you guys know about this? So basically you can buy your coffee, grind it, put it back in your bag and take it home. I only just recently figured that out and it literally changed my life. So I always wanna share that hack with you guys too. I was trying to be as fast as possible today just to get home and get some more things done. I knew I wanted to clean out the fridge, clean out the freezer, and just really be intentional about how we are gonna eat this week and that takes some planning. What are you guys making for your family's dinners this week? I'd love to know, I love suggestions, what you feed your big family. And also, are you enjoying the music? I found a way to get some Christian music on this platform and it excites me very much, just feels so peaceful and feel God's presence as I'm doing this video. so easy for us to feel discouraged with our bills and our groceries and I just really try to come at it with a heart of gratitude that I have a family to feed. All right, I'm jazzed about it. $730, my goal is 700. Feeling very accomplished. Okay, 30 minute drive, then we get to unload all these things and pile them up in my house and organize the pantry. Yay, it's never ending mama. You can do it. I just love driving to worship music. I feel like it is the time of day where I get to just kind of be and I just feel the Holy Spirit so strong in my car as the music is blasting. Oh man. It was totally fine, but I dropped this and felt like not the Epsom salts. <laughs> it's always something. Anyone else use the laundry basket hack? So I just decided that it's way too much work for me to decide to use them in my hands. And so I'm like, grab a laundry basket, start loading it in. I started unloading then realized, oh man, this fridge is disgusting. We've never washed really like the outside fridge just doesn't get that same TLC. And so I grabbed my Dyson and I got to work just kind of vacuuming out the crumbs. And then I'm going to use a natural spray that I really like. It's from Walmart. It smells like some citrusy lime scent and I gave it a quick wipe down 
My husband loves having our drink station in here filled. And so you'll see just, I got a lot of bubbly waters. We do try to lock this fridge just to keep it away from the kids during the week or else it can get pretty pricey giving, you know, five kids and two adults a sparkling water every single day. I also bought juice this time for the first time in years and it was because it was on sale. The kids have hot lunches on Thursday and I really like to try to avoid buying it sometimes. And so if I can just have those juice boxes in the fridge, it really helps because the kids can grab one of those, maybe a little mini bag of chips when they go on clearance after Halloween, I'll stock up. And on Wednesday when it's hot lunch, they can feel like they are still getting to be part of that. Super lazy, I just shoved all the meat in here and I'll deal with it later in those Ziploc bags. Too tired. <laughs> this is my husband's favorite, when it's all organized. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I have inside. Then I'm gonna make coffee, because I need it so bad. And then I will show you guys what I've already put away. So my kids love this tzatziki from Costco. This is a staple. I always add egg whites, which are somewhere around here, probably in the other fridge, to this, like instead of just water to make them high protein. Uh, this was on sale for executive members. So that was exciting for baking and for colds and for all the good stuff. Chocolate chips. For some reason, these ones are cheaper than Kirkland brand now. If anybody could tell me why, like way cheaper, like $10 cheaper. Kids really liked this last time and I need a couple days a week where we have nighttime um, things just to be a bit faster for dinner. We're all out of this, so here we go. Absolutely my favorite, cleanest ingredient protein bars. These are on sale. I know they're not healthy. Okay. These are great. I love these. My kids really only like the chocolate ones, but we will force them to eat both. We've got vanilla extract. Thank goodness the price of vanilla went down. Remember when it was like $30? It's like $13. So that makes up for the olive oil price, right? I don't really know. Brown sugar. <laughs> gonna make cinnamon buns. It's fall. We need that. Berries that are gonna last all of 2.5 seconds, which you guys know of your mom's. I like these, my kids like these. Quick, easy, high protein, high fat too, but oh well. Okay, marble cheese. I always get my Costco cheese because even if we already have cheese, this price, you cannot beat it. My coffee, which you guys saw me grinding. Did you guys know you could do that at Costco? Seriously, the best ever. I love this. It was also on sale, which made me so happy. I'm gonna make some Brussels sprouts this week along with some baked sweet potatoes, mostly for myself, but I will of course offer it to my children who will decline my offer. <laughs> greens to add to our Caesar salad. I will do romaine with some greens to spice up the nutrients. This is for snacking. My husband is on a huge celery and carrot kick. He's asked me to get dressing, which is somewhere. Again, another easy night. I'm gonna do that. Honestly, you guys, chicken salad with pickles and using the juice from the pickles has been my go-to. So I am all over this. $21 Canadian for that, which is a lot, but whatever. This was actually not at Costco. Um, I had to stop at my market, but I knew that they'd have it there because they sell Kirkland. I didn't see this exact one at Costco today, which made me sad. There was a smaller one for more money. I don't know. Our home favorite, almond butter. We have a peanut allergy here, so we don't do peanut butter. Cornstarch, I was out for thickening things. I know these aren't great, but they make my children eat eggs and Caesar salad. These are every single time I go. I never leave without them. The only sad thing is that this will only last us like two dinners because we just have too many kids. Even that is like kind of close. And salsa, as you know, I was happy that they had this one, the dye-free children's Advil really working on keeping that dye kind of like minimal when it comes to home time, um, school, whatever, birthdays, whatever, but at home we try. All right, over here we have oh, our favorite, obviously ketchup. This is for my husband because carrots and celery, bear paws because you know, this is my kid's favorite breakfast right now, just basic granola. I wish they'd put fruit in it, but they usually insist on chocolate chips and I don't battle with them in the morning. No fighting allowed. Um, grapes are our favorite. Again, this was at Costco, which was the only like really fun thing I bought today. Uh, this and Epsom salts and pads. 
Those are the only non-food items that I bought today. I bought these crackers because I like them and so do the kids. And I will take you guys to the garage. Okay, so in this very disorganized freezer that's full of my cherry tomatoes, we have got sourdough that my kids like. I got these little mini nans to go with that butter chicken dish. These are my little garlic pucks that I made. Um, pureed a whole bunch of garlic and froze them in little circles. And I kind of cut them in half for our meals. I also got wraps. They were on sale, which made me so happy. I love that they're individually wrapped. So I only have to pull out one at a time. And then as you guys saw before, the fridge is looking good. We've got sausage. We've got deli meat for school. That steak as a fun treat for hubby. And I will separate this stuff all when I have a time or a minute. But right now I don't have time or a minute. <laughs> and there's my egg whites I was talking about. I never buy juice boxes, you guys. But here's the thing. School hot lunch. They want to charge me all my money for a juice box and a chips and then something else. And I feel like I can just make that for them. Um, moving on, this is a very dark corner because you guys are literally in between my sauna and my fridge. I could turn a light on, but you know what? Who cares? You guys will, you'll be fine. Um, chicken strips and fries. We always have those on hand. These triangle buns, my kids really do like them. Also the golden buns and of course chicken breast. And then for a treat tonight, I did get um, this for dinner because I want to be lazy tonight and my kids will love this, ginger beef. So that's basically it in terms of oh, the freezer. So yeah, let's go have coffee. But this is the before situation with my fridge. It's just <laughs> random tomatoes, random old bottle of wine. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys, this is insane. So I don't know where to begin. I know I need to use some of these up. I need to process those carrots. These are hard boiled eggs that I attempted to make for the family and no one's eaten them. Sometimes, you know, this is like tofu. Ah, where am I gonna put the food? Okay, full stop. Have you guys tried these? Carbo not bagels. I'm trying to use up the stuff in my freezer right now. And I remember what the lady told me at the till at Costco. She was like, these are old, like six months. She's like, make sure you take every one out of the bag and wrap them in saran wrap. Has anyone else ever heard that? Or was that just the lady at the till? I don't know if it made them fresher or better or not, because to be honest with you, I don't really like them that much. They're quite like, they're light and they feel like air and Sometimes I just want to eat more than air, um, but I want to use them up because I don't want to waste in like stuff like this that's all like gluten-free and carb-free and like low-carb, whatever. Um, it's just expensive, and so I don't want to waste, but I'm going to use these old avocados, make an avocado egg toast. I know I said I was going to do coffee, but then I decided that my hunger is too strong for coffee right now. I don't want to kill my hunger. I want to nourish my body well, fuel my body that God gave me. And then I will have coffee and then I will be able to put away the groceries. And then it will basically be six hours after I drop my kids off at school. Do men even know what, how fast the day goes by as a mother when you have all your kids in school? It's the same. It's just as busy. Tell me that I'm wrong because maybe this is just a different perspective now, but I have all day and the day just goes so fast and I still feel like I'm not getting quite as much done as I would have expected, okay? Yeah, I know some of you feel me on this freezer burn. It's really hot. I put it in the microwave too long, but I'm just gonna, ugh. I don't even know. Does anyone else do that? When I go to the microwave, I just press one, two, three, four, five minutes and I just leave whatever it is in there and then every time I'm like, oh my gosh, it's too done, it's too done. And then I like run and then it's always, always, oh my gosh, it's always so hot. Oh, if I move fast, fast. I know that's not how you cut, not cut bagels. I know that's not safe, okay? But my dad taught me that when I was a girl to cut my bagel or holding it towards me. making a lunch that is both nourishing to my body and also I'm just being really wise with my leftover food. These avocados were less than ideal um, and nobody ate the hard boiled eggs that I prepped. Surprise, surprise, mom life. So I am putting together a quick bagel with avocado and hard boiled egg and then I'm gonna get back to organizing. Sometimes you just gotta take a break. I really encourage you guys to slow down and sit with your food. I know that that sounds hard, 
but it's something that I didn't do for a long time. And I always wondered, why do I have so many stomach aches? And then I started sitting down and just thanking God for my meal and slowing down. And I noticed such a big difference. So just to encourage you there. really running low on my Nespresso pods. I'm going to have to do some ordering soon, but I'll wait till the very last minute because that's how I am. So now I'm going to be putting away some of the pantry items. I don't take every single thing out of the bags and put it in containers, but for some of the things, it just feels like it's the right thing to do because we're going to go through it quickly. And unfortunately, the most expensive thing in the world, chocolate chips, is one of those things that we go through. I can't seem to keep them away from my kids. We even have a lock on our pantry door and they just somehow know how to get in there and take handfuls of chocolate chips maybe stash them in their pocket for later does anyone else have this problem <laughs> it's just so expensive but i do love to cook for my kids and bake and so we are just going to kind of unbox some of these things my kids like granola and i like to put some of them into containers i did a cricket project a long time ago where i'd put like all the labels on things and now pretty much all the labels are different so I don't really know if it was worth my time, but I'll probably try to uh, catch up on that this winter when there's some extra time and the kids are in school. Guys are in my teeny tiny pantry. I'm just trying to go back to like regular view. Okay. So this is from Walmart, literally one of those cheap little drawers. And I just fill it with, oh my gosh, fill it full with whatever I need for snacks. And then I try to shove all the back, like the big bulk and extra and like canned things kind of in the back corner, um, but still try to be able to see them. <laughs> and then... What I have here is like the staples, like this is the pancake mix, rice, chia, chocolate chips, pasta, cereal breakfast stuff. I'm still gonna put this somewhere, not sure. Um, and then I'm gonna put my bars in here and probably some of the cashew bars in there because they crumble more easily. Um, yeah, that's kind of the status successfully cleared off the table for the most part just a few things to bring upstairs i'll show you guys the fridge and then i have a client quickly but a lot of the things we already had that i thought i had to fit in the fridge like ketchup um and whatnot and only one salsa right so it did end up working there's a lot of stuff in the other fridge um but yeah this is where we're at well, my hands are covered in cornstarch. The total was seven forty-four um, Canadian. Oh, wait, no, because I had a gift card, so it was actually seven sixty-five, and I used a thirty-two dollar or forty-two dollar gift card. So, yeah, seven seventy-four. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's a big. That's a big one, guys. I'm just taking a minute break. I just had to do the breakfast dishes. And I wanted to come on here and just say, did you know that it is currently 12.35, okay? So I just want to be really realistic with you guys. I just finished breakfast dishes, okay? I made pancakes this morning. We were lacking in other options that were quick and easy. And so we had a mess and I had to leave the mess and go to Costco and that's real life. But what I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about was something that was on my heart today in my Bible time. I was feeling a little rushed, okay? And I don't love rushing through my Bible time. I get up early at 6.30. I just did a morning routine video. I will link it here in the cards for you guys, but I don't love rushing it. I love having 45 minutes to just be in the presence of God, doing my Bible, doing my journal. So what I noticed lately is that I have been rushing, almost like there's just never gonna be enough time in the day and I just have to see how much I can squeeze in and how much I fit in. What I felt on my heart was that God was saying, if motherhood is your ministry, and if you know, if you if being a woman of God is your ministry, and you're rushing constantly in the store, out the store, to pick up the kids, back here, back there, there's just no room for you to see what you're being asked to do. 
um, and you just might miss the person that you are supposed to talk to, visit with, give a hug. And I'm really trying to take minutes in the day and go, I don't have to rush. It's okay that today is not going to be the day that I get everything done. It's okay that, you know, upstairs is going to be messy. We have a full pantry. We are so blessed. And to be dwelling in the good and lovely, wonderful things that God is doing in your life, you need to slow down. And so take that time, have your coffee in the afternoon, dive into the word, do something in the middle of the day that lets you reset and breathe and just be in tune with, am I even present right now? Or am I rushing through things and maybe I'm missing seeing somebody who is right in front of me that might need to see the love of Jesus through me today. So that's what I'm all about. I love sharing just basic motherhood things that I do, pancakes that I make or the toilet that I clean today. It's not fancy, but motherhood is a ministry and I think when we start to look at homemaking and motherhood in that light, we just feel different about the process of doing it. We feel less frustrated about the mess and the laundry and the empty fridge and the cupboards and the price of our groceries. Let's just do it all with a grateful heart today. All right, my friends, I am going to finish the dishes, have a quick client call. I'm a personal trainer. I have a app that I run and I do one-on-one -on -one training. So that is what I do with my free time, which is, you know, not very much with five kids, but I love it. I love pointing women towards uh, being the healthiest version of themselves in Christ and, and keeping that at the forefront of everything I do. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you and let's get into whatever we bring next. I'm thinking brownie Friday. What do you think? So brownies didn't work out. I didn't have the ingredients, but I thought, hey, I'll make some muffins. So I do have to do a lot of baking to keep up with the kids. And as I was doing this baking, the Lord just put on my heart, you know, it sometimes gets so exhausting being a mom and having to provide for these kiddos and their needs. And when they go through food so fast and we spend so much money on it, it feels so discouraging sometimes. We start to feel exhausted, even just emotionally. And so I was just thinking about the verse in the Bible, Galatians 6 verse 9, that says, let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we'll reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. And I just remember thinking of that verse and thinking sometimes motherhood can feel like we're doing things and we're not seeing a difference. And we do things that baking and cooking and just runs out so fast. What is even the point? Do the kids even care? Do they even notice it? And I think they really do. And I think that if we just continue working and serving our family, that we will be blessed and they will be blessed for our sacrifices and our giving. I'm really working hard on limiting the waste that I use and this happens a lot. We make some pizza, there's some extra dough. So that's what happened here. I just decided I'm gonna just make a little tiny cinnamon roll. So I made like six little rolls, perfect after school snack for the kiddos and they were happy and I was happy that we didn't have to waste any, any ingredients. If you guys are loving my new content, this Christ focused, you know, lifestyle content that is going to be geared towards healthy living and moms who just really want some encouragement and some company in their day. Um, let me know, follow me on Instagram, reach out. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, YouTube community is so sweet. All right, friends, that's going to be a wrap on today's video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week. Bye for now.